Hi everyone, Massimo here from the Blue Root team. And today I wanna to talk a little bit about a new feature in Zoho CRM called Wizards. It's been a long awaited feature and it's fairly complex. So I'm gonna break it down very easily in a very simple scenario. But if you understand this scenario, you can really um, amp it up as much as you'd like. So how you find Wizards is you'll actually hit the little wrench in the top right. Then you should have Wizards under customization. So I'm gonna click that. And it kind of explains what it is here, but I'll explain it at a high level as well. It's basically, let's say you have 300 fields in your opportunity. Uh, what Wizards allows you to do is to break it into sections to kind of cut down on the amount of data entry at certain points in the process. For example, maybe you just enter some details up front, then you save the record and you'll enter the rest later. And you don't want to confuse the situation with your users. And you may also want some automations at certain points. So you may fill in the first name, the last name, the email, and the deal size for an opportunity. And then you want an email to go out and you want to save the record until they come back and you don't want all the extra fields. So as Zoho says, you can break down complex data intensive layouts into more manageable screen by screen forms. So what I'm going to do today is go through it with you and build one. So I'm going to go ahead and hit create wizard. You have to name it something. So I'm going to call it sample wizard because it's just for this demo. You can name it whatever you'd like. You then have to choose the module. So I'm going to choose opportunities, and I think opportunities will be the most common module that people use, but you can choose it in contacts, accounts, leads, as you just saw. You can then release it, or you can then say which layout it's applicable for. So in this CRM, I only have one layout, but if you're the type of company that has more than one layout, you may want to apply this wizard to both, or you may only want to apply this wizard to one. So this is the first page of the wizard. And to start it, it's kind of what it says, you double click. So what this brings up is a, a screen. So you have to do a few things. You have to name it something. You then have to give the little segment a title. So I'm gonna name this like creating an opportunity. And maybe here I will do basic details. And now you'll bring in the fields that you need in this first screen. So you can see Zoho kind of breaks it down nicely for you. It says these ones are mandatory. So you're gonna need these in the first screen. So I'll bring them in. Okay. And maybe I'll also make them do the owner or put the owner. So essentially what this is doing is the very first screen that your user sees, they will have to enter a name, account, stage, and opportunity owner. But the other fields all over here, and you might have 300 of them, for example, do not have to be entered. And then to move out of this screen, you then have to give your users a button. So you can see there's a button, button <laughs> in the bottom left here. And you can name it something. So I might call this one next. And then you have some criteria here. So number one, you can use this button to save the record, or you can tell it to go to the next screen, right? So I'm going to tell it to save the record for now. And then uh, the next piece is you can put some logic. So do you want to always show this button? Do you want to always hide this button unless there's some criteria? So you could say, well, let them go next if they filled out everything. But maybe let's say, for example, you had the amount in here. And it's not mandatory, but you don't want to show the button unless you could do something like this. So you could go unless amount is not empty, for example. So now when amount is empty, it doesn't let them go next. When amount has something, it lets them go next. So you can do things like that. Um, and then you can also disable the button with some criteria. For this example, I'm not going to do that. Then you can choose a style. So this is kind of just a fun thing. You can make it a rounded button and maybe I'll make this one black. And the last thing I'll just mention here is these buttons can do things that external automations. So for example, you can shoot the client an email or your user an email. So if I click this, you'll see I can create a new email notification. And just like creating a workflow, you name it, you choose who is going to receive this email. You then choose the template and you can send it off. So that's a handy feature. For example, let's say you created this opportunity you might want to send an email right when you do saying, hey, just so you know, we've created this. It's moving on to the rest of the team, something like that. 
These two down here, you don't really have to worry about, but essentially what they are is a webhook is an integration with another software and a custom action is similar. You can write code within Zoho to do things in other modules. So that may be something you want to explore, but for the purpose of today, I'm going to keep it simple. So now I have created the first step in a wizard with a next button and I'm going to hit done. So it brings you back out to the screen and to create your next page, you'll double click again. And now you have screen two. So now specific details, for example, and I'm gonna do course specifics. So in this example that I'm giving you uh, there, uh, it's like a, we have some course dates and things like that. It's kind of a school demo. So I'm going to tell the user to put in where they heard about you, what course they're interested in, and uh, maybe the closing date in this example, and maybe the amount, right? And again, I'm gonna put a button and I'm gonna call this one save and next. I'm gonna make it rounded again and black. And now you can actually connect these two, just to show you here. So if you uh, uncheck this save record, now you can actually make it go to the next page. So linking to another screen allows you to then go like this. So now what has just happened is we've created a wizard on the first page you hit next. And then on this one, you would hit save and next. And when you tell the record to save, it doesn't actually, I might've misled you with this button. It doesn't actually let you go to the next page. So you would have to do something like this. You would hit save on this one. And then this would be next. And so now we'll make our final screen. And this will just be on course day. So we're going to put, for example, date and time you will arrive, any dietary requests, just as an example. And this one will tell just to save. And then we'll take the next, we'll go back into this one here. We'll take this, link it to the final screen. So bit messy, but you can see what we've done here. We've basically taken about 15 fields, put four of them in here, three or four of them in here, and two in here. And so you can see kind of the realm of possibilities here. And again, on each of these save and next, and you could have many buttons if you'd like. So if I double click on this one, you can see I can add more buttons, right? So I can continue adding more and more buttons that do certain things. So you could add a button to send an email. So maybe you fill in a few things, you hit a button, it sends an email, then you hit save, then you hit next, for example. So um, I'm actually going to take this one out just to show you one last feature here. So I'm going to hit done and I'm going to hit save. The last thing it asks you is who is allowed to use this wizard. So depending on your profiles and roles, uh, you may want to take a look at that and we have separate videos on it. But for the purpose of this demo, I'm just going to put everyone and hit save. So these are the type of warnings that you can kind of see. And this is what I wanted to show you. It will, so on course day, save and our course day is invalid. A button should either have a save button configured or be linked to another screen. So I can go in here and actually hit this. And what I have to do, it's telling me like, basically this button I didn't tell to do anything. So I have to tell it to at least save. So I'm gonna hit done. And then when I hit save, you can see the error is gone. So I just wanted to show you that if that error does come up, it's just kind of a, uh, an error check for you to let you know that you missed something. So now in order to actually use this, I'm gonna to go to opportunities and I'm gonna create a new one. So I'm gonna hit plus and you can see when I'm creating a new opportunity, I'll actually have to choose sample wizard. And here we go, right? So the first page I wanted to add a few things. So I'm gonna put the name I'll put actually sample course. 
I'll put the account name because I made that mandatory. And again, this depends on your system, right? Like if this isn't a mandatory field, it might not matter. I'm going to put the intake amount or the stage. So I'm going to put onboarding and I'm going to put the amount. I think it's $500, for example. Now I'm going to hit next and you can see it saved it and we can go back. And now we're at specific details, right? So now I'm going to say, well, where did you actually hear about us? And you can click here. And these are all the campaigns that you may have running through AdWords or whatnot, right? And then I'm also going to put, okay, what course are you interested in? Okay, course B, $500. I can edit this so you can bring things from previous stages. And then I can also put the closing date. Okay, I think you'll be working with us then. I can always save as draft. So now it's saved. And what it's showing you here is kind of the draft view. So what I'll show you is all of the opportunities or contacts or leads that you're working on that are inside of a wizard will actually go into an area called drafts. So the way you kind of organize your business will change if you use Wizards, but Zoho kind of gives you a good way to do it. So now I'll go back into the sample course, right? And I'll hit next, just to double check. This is all fine, so I'll hit next. And then this was the final thing, so on course day. So in this example here, what you could do, if I go back to my drafts, I could basically, you could do a few things, but you could now filter based on certain things. So maybe in step two, what you want to do is you want to actually change the stage. So this is step one, right? And then in step two, maybe you want to show the, uh, the stage again and make your user change it so that when you go back here, you can now filter on it. Or you could do something like this. You could say course interested in is not empty. Search. So now you could find all the ones that you know only up until step two like in step two, you now know the course. In step one, you don't. So you won't see any of your step one records. So I'll hit sample course. Go through. Go through. Fill in the final details. And now this record has been fully complete based on your wizard. And now it expands into your actual normal record. So I wanted to show you these high level details and I think this will really help you kind of think of ways that this can help your business. And at any point, just so you know, could hit edit and you can see what wizard it went through. So you can have many wizards that one record goes through and you could kind of choose that based on the record. So you saw at the beginning when I was creating the record, new opportunity, I then chose which wizard. So your users could then choose which, you, uh, which wizard, and probably in a more advanced video, I'll show you how to mandate that where only certain users can see certain wizards and things like that. But this should get you started on building wizards and understanding what they are and how they work. Thanks for watching.